This is AENN, American Exceptionalism News Network. Okay, um, tell you a little bit about myself. I was a 41-year educator, and <laughs> these pictures up here kind of started my whole trek in understanding this document here, Agenda 21. Uh, back in 1998, I was at El Dorado High School in Placentia, California. You know where that's at? And one of my jobs as a high school assistant principal in charge of student activities was to be the overseer of this young girl in all her activities for about two years. And her name is Janet Evans, the Olympic gold medalist. Under, when I was with her, uh, she won three gold medals in uh, Seoul, Korea. Now, people might say, well, that's no big deal. How many of you know of Janet Evans? You can remember what happened in that. Remember the DDR, German Democratic Republic, East Germany? It was still viable. But after Janet Evans swam three events, two go two, uh, three gold medals, two world record records against three of the top East German swimmers, she crushed the hopes of the East German Olympic team but she also crushed the hopes of the East German people, at least their leadership. And I got hooked up with her because <laughs> my principal, Al Hawkins, said, you're the low man on the dotem pole, Paul. You get to be in charge of her for two years. So it was like a circus. And I worked with the parents and worked with the Olympic people and NBC and all these other people. And I had a pretty good perspective of what the world was like going into the Olympics, okay? The worldwide thing going on. That's pretty neat, you know? <laughs> But when she went to the Olympics and she came back after beating the East Germans, it was kind of interesting because I was getting all these calls from places all around the world, people saying, no, she can't be who she is. She's not a high school student. Um, it's all a fake. It's all a facade. And all these people had these big East German accents with them. <laughs> and I'm, like, and, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, right, tell me another story. You know, she's one of the students and I'm getting the headaches for it. Well, she comes home from the Olympics. And I'll never forget the day she came home. Big debate, because everybody was excited, and it was in Orange County, and it was in September, the Olympics were in September. She comes back, and everybody's going nuts that she's there. We have the Goodyear blimp flying over the school. And everybody's congratulating me because I did that, right? <laughs> I was like going, I didn't do that. <laughs> but, you know, it was a big deal. And so I made a decision that I was just really criticized for. In fact, my principal said, don't do it or else you're going to get fired. So, okay. <laughs> so I did it anyway. Um, I got with the CNN guys, who was a very young, you remember back then, they were a very young company. And so we set it up so that we could prove to the world that Janet Evans was a high school student at El Dorado. It was a big deal. We were making a big deal about it. And we put a camera and a cameraman in her classroom. Oh, people were ticked at me. And it broadcast all over the world at 8 o'clock in the morning. By 8.30, I was getting calls from all around the world. And one of the calls I got was from this guy who was totally belligerent to me. I mean, he was really abusive to me for, for several days beforehand. And he started screaming at me on the phone. I'm going, hey, I'm hanging up. He goes, no, 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 no. All of a sudden, in mid-sentence, he starts to cry. And I realized there's something more at play here. He starts to cry, and he says, you don't understand. My dream of communism is dead now. And I said, with a little Janet, <laughs> I was being a little bit naive. But I was not naive about what was going on in the world. Huge Reagan supporter. I knew what was going on. I knew about what Reagan was trying to do to destroy the Soviet Union. And I knew that that played a big part in it. I knew that instant that had something to do with it. And it was one year and a month later, the Berlin Wall came down. 